得得得得得得得得得，我知啦，我知啦，上落嚟啊嘛。我揾翻，我仲我仲做嘢先，慢慢做啦。知唔知你未睇尋日嗰集咯？嗱 ，all right， so， 誒、um, ，in this video， 誒，啊 ，in this lesson， we would like to talk to you， um， something about。The coming SBA, and、uh, you need to be highly aware, right, of the uh of the SBA, uh, for this uh, uh, uh your special year, and um now uh so far I cannot tell too much about uh the the actual marks allocation for those uh. Uh, each of the SBAs. So, uh, first of all, I would like to share with you the our usual practice. Okay, our usual practice is not so. Sorry, I need to show you another one. It's not that. It's not that. Just wait for me. Sorry about that. Now, yes, that is the original. Uh, the original file, right? So. Uh, in in the public exam, SBA comprises about twenty percent of your uh, uh, DSE assessment. So as I said before, uh, we have just covered those sixty percent. Okay, and uh, altogether the max is one hundred and twenty, and you are going to finish within two and a half hours. So it is written paper. So besides that paper one, which is compulsory part, we have got a elective part. Well, the elective part, uh, you are going to do two out of three electives and each one questions that will score. This, this is not 10 marks, it should be 20 marks. So altogether, we have got 40 marks in, uh, to be finished in our one hour, 20%. So uh, what's next is on your SBA. So this is the um, old framework. Okay, before class expansion. So this is our common practice. We need to do at least four, a total of four uh, practical related tasks. And, uh, and we would, uh, and it comprise, uh, it, it will make together about 20% of marks. Uh, our common practice is to record uh, your performance uh, in terms of two assessment in form five and another two assessment in form six. So this is our very, uh, our old way of treating those SBA. Now, which means at form five and form six, we will be having one VA experiment and uh, we have got EXPT. ESPT means other than VA, other than QA, some other experiments. So uh, this one way and how about form six? Form six it is mainly QA and EXPT, right, experiment. And uh, the uh, and uh, the HKEAA, okay, how can go? Um, has uh, already uh, made the conference uh, with uh, some school representatives a few days ago on uh, that maybe pop most probably some adjustment in uh, handing in the minimum number of the SBA. So we need to wait. Okay, we need to wait uh, until the further confirmation made by the HKEAA about the exact number for your year. Okay, can you get a point? But uh, whether or not they will, uh, of course, you may know that there will be uh, a shrinking in the number of the minimum number of the practical related tasks. But to a chemistry teacher, we would focus, uh, we treasure the use of the SBA 
as a, as a testing of your practical skills. Okay, the practical in the skills in the practical related tasks. So uh, all those skills they are just just in generic skills in chemistry. So volumetric analysis to me must be there. Okay, and the second task I would insist on having this one with you is on QA qualitative analysis. Okay, even though we have got a shrinking of number, we just keep that too. Can you get my point? So here comes why next Monday onwards we will need to do uh, so many practices for those uh, VA. Can you get the point? You get it? So uh, if that is the case, uh, just imagine, right? If two years we submit for at uh, least for SBA. So on average, each one, each one experiment will cost you about five marks. Can you get the point? How, what would, what would the case if HKEA has approved that, uh, okay, we can, uh, have, we can submit less uh, SBA assessment tasks. Let's say two, for example. What if, if that is two? So what will happen to the one, the, the percentage of uh, VA experiments? Can you guess? In case finally, what you need to do is to have a submission of two experiments and altogether it, it comprises 20%. So can you tell me how many percentage it is for VA? It's easy to understood, right? Yes. Nearly, yes, weighting increase, which means, you may guess, right? Yes, about 10%. So that's why in order to have, uh, to have an easier life, uh, it's not just for the year, but also the past year, while you're seeing, right, to just do uh, uh, do so many practice on uh, equipping um, themselves with the necessary uh, lab skills, uh, such that they can score nearly full <coughs> lab skills in your practical related tasks, followed by, and, and next, it, there will be something on the lab report, the quality in the lab report. So, you know, to get that marked, can you get a point? And we still continue to have this type of marking. Do you understand? So, first of all, no matter which, uh, what type of um, SBA will be finally confirmed, I would insist to submit one SBA mark as VA. Can you get my point? It must be a VA. And the, the second SBA must be QA to me, okay? And to you also, because for the, I, I know that it, it is a very important experiment that you need to have. Questions? Can you get a point? So, which means, so what is the, what is the hidden message? You need to work very, very hard and you have to equip yourself well uh, for the coming SBA. Now, this is what I would like to remind all of you. You get it? So, uh, shall we take a look on the volumetric analysis, this part? And uh, uh, what if, if I put it as a PDF? Uh, I open it as a PDF and I can uh, uh, all together give you a... Writing and the clicking on the of the of the web's page is more easily seems. So can you see that? We have got a, another page, which is your let me see this one. Can you see that? We have got a uh, edge open or with a PDF file. So um, I know uh, in Monday, Tuesday. We still have uh, one or two more days to go before the class resumption. So we still uh, have uh, some precautionary measures, uh, just like asking you guys to wear face masks. Uh, if you have uh, a very high or abnormally high body temperature, sorry, you cannot enter uh, the school premises. Uh, you need to have a social distancing uh, of at least one meter in the lab. Don't crowd it too much. Don't come too close. And uh, I will expect you guys to uh, wash your hands very, very frequently, uh, especially after experiments. 
And this is what I would like to talk to you about precautionary measures. Uh, for those persons who have difficulty of coming back uh, before class resumption, uh, you have to message me uh, maybe today or tomorrow and try to see if uh, we can have any other arrangement. But uh, so far, I will know that you are becoming adults. Uh, I would expect that you can manage. But of course, if you have any other consideration and you may find it inconvenient to tell in the plot, like, don't worry, you, you, you still can reach me and then explain your scenario to me and, try, and I, will like, I, I will try my best to uh, give you some necessary arrangement. Now, in order to have your easy life, uh, you will have a, a two trial, right? Each one of the trial are uh, to be uh, held in three sections uh, because of uh, the issues about social distancing, right? So uh, you may uh, uh, you may have uh, make a reservation of the slots, right? For each time of slot, uh, from nine to 11, 12 to 12 to 2, 2.15 to 4.15. Uh, we have got two labs. One is uh, the determine the molarity of, uh, actually what is that, even molarity of even exit in the commercial vinegar, it's not vinegar. Molarity of even exit, this one. Even exit in commercial vinegar. And second one, now this one, I would like to change it. It is you are going to determine the molarity of uh, sodium carbonate in what? In uh, Chinese or uh, in call it gan sui. You know what is that in English? Gan sui is not soap water. Do you know? Do you know anything about gan sui? Do you know? Do you know what's that? Yes, really gan sui. So you you write down, you search it all the way, be gan sui. But actually, you may see somebody would mention, uh, you just translate it directly as alkaline water. Yes. Yes, that's right. Alkaline water. Noodle. Yes. The one to make the uh, noodle, wonton noodle. Right? You know that the, the one of the wonton noodle will have got a uh, some uh, to improve the mouthfeel right, of those noodles. So I, I would like to add gan soy, alkaline water. So alkaline water, uh, indeed, he, uh, it contains a mixture of potassium, carbonate and sodium carbonate. Okay, sorry to say that I change it rapidly in this because uh, uh, for the window cleanser on the market, uh, you may find it as a blue solution, right? But uh, it would be quite difficult to determine the molarity of ammonia because uh, most of the window cleanser on the market uh, doesn't show any active ingredient as ammonia. Instead, they show it as mainly surfactant, okay? So uh, such that we don't have any idea of uh, what is that inside. Surfactant mostly, we will not say it as acidic or alkaline. First, there's the first reason. Second reason is that most window cleanser is blue in color, right? It's blue. So even though I diluted 10 times, that blue color still masks the uh, color change. So uh, this is what we sh I just shared with you on today's pre-lab session. Is in the, you when you have pre-lab session, we teachers together with lab technicians also have another pre-lab session. You, you you can you get my point? So uh, after the thorough discussion, we decided to change it, and and gan so it's it's just the one I bought it. Just boring uh, at lunchtime. While I go to the 
wet market, and uh, I'm, I suddenly thought of this. Okay, a very traditional or uh, additives, and mainly uh, a, 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 a in the winter noodle, right? While you make the noodles, and also uh, why not cooking soda? Eat, eating, 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 please. Okay, so and also, why can't why why do we why don't we use caustic soda? Caustic soda they, it has been put. What is that? It's mainly sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide cannot act as a primary standard. A good question which reflects that you don't know anything about the term primary standard. Do you know what's that? Primary standard cannot act as a primary standard. Why? Tell me, Cedric. Tell me. Yes, it has salt water vapor in air, right? So, uh, caustic soda is may not be a good choice actually. So we have got two cases. One is the vanilla exit in commercial vinegar. The other one is is the commercial ganzhou, Chinese ganzhou, alkaline water, and find out the concentration of sodium carbonate and our potassium carbonate. But don't worry, even though we talk about sodium carbonate, potassium carbonate, we generally take, take it as a metal carbonate, put one metal carbonate, right? While the equations, they are of the same mole ratio while we, we react with the same acid. Can you get a point? So you may uh, need to um, end joint at this one section, right? If you think that after doing the first, first trial, you may have a full confidence that you can manage to have a real SBA just once, uh, if not twice, okay? And um, if some other people give up the, the, the chance and while you see uh, there are some, there we still have some blanks, right? Uh, I may, I may, I may invite uh, those other people to join the missing parts, but Remember uh, that we need to give way, uh, we need to give priority for those who still have an opt choice uh, before you enter the third, third trial, fourth trial. Is that clear? So chemistry lab and uh, the attire, what to wear. I know that most of you nowadays, uh, we will be uh, having casual wear. I will allow. Smart casual, of course, I will allow. But remember, you are going to wear long trousers, okay? Trousers and now closed toe shoes, okay? No shorts, please. Okay, no shorts, no sandals, uh, no, no shoes with uh, your toe shown clearly to me, okay? So it is about safety. It's something about safety. So I would like to have your co cooperation on that. Question? Now, remember to do the reservation online. And uh, this is what I would like to um, talk to you about the reservation, right? Uh, so far, we have got a list of students who have made the We have already made that one, okay? The reservation. So this is what I've just collected so far. And uh, some people who still uh, haven't made that on the observation, could you please do it as quickly as possible, right? The red one is a pre-section. Here comes full house, right? On the first section, second section, first session, uh, still not too much people here okay i will wait until tomorrow uh until some others can fill those spaces really marcus have you just filled in just wait marcus oh yeah here yeah. uh, can you see that Yeah. Uh, 
uh, for those for those issues you talk about that private issues uh, you have to uh, do the you have to reach me in not in the public right uh, after maybe just make it after the lesson thank you I don't know. Just wait. Just wait and you have to get back to me about your detail. Now, uh, this is what I just received so far. And uh, second is to talk about the content. Okay, so what you should do. Now, uh, if you want to get the uh, let menu, right? You may click that. So I would like to click one of the let menu to get to know what is that. Uh, now for the real SBA, you you here comes another scenario. I will keep, I will get some commercial lemon juice or lime juice. Okay, and uh, you need to determine the molarity of citric acid inside. Very similar, but uh, uh, the the date came to you is right next Wednesday came one is next Friday. I will give you 2.5 hours maximum, including the time for experiments uh, and writing your lab reports. If you want to uh, have early leave, uh, you better finish some of the uh, items of your lab report before you come. I will allow. But uh, uh, please take ne get note what is that. The areas of assessment will be your practical skills, about 50%, and your lab report, another 50%. So, you know, you, you, can you get the point why I insist of having a um, SBA here? Okay, SBA here. So, uh, we have got the practice. And uh, the practical skills you need to include. You need to include, this is what you know, you have got it already, right? So I just mentioned something about SBA, 50% practice skills, 50% about the red report, uh, while the skills will include dilution of solution, titration, uh, tidiness of bench, uh, and also the efficiency of performing experiments. Remarks, first of all, you may get, as uh, some cheeses by yourself, but uh, that cannot be more than a piece of one a one a a piece of a four paper. Two, your long report should not be typewritten. You have to handwrite your work. So I will supply with you single line paper while you arrive at chemistry lab, and uh, you can finish some basic parts of the lab report before you come, and. Uh, you would have some further questions. While well, you have got the further questions will be assigned on the site. Three, uh, if you want to we, uh, get some idea about what is that, I will show you some past students work uh, while you uh, come to the free section. And finally, uh, your SBA, the real SBA lab menu will be given to you either Monday or Tuesday. Okay, you can come back either day to get the uh, to get the hard copy. Okay, questions? Now, if not, I would like to uh, show you the what else? Sorry, I would like to show you. The lab reports. I just told you, right? Any specific templates for the report? Templates? Templates? Mm, I, will, I only give you a glimpse on the past students' uh, record. So uh, this one is not uh, supposed to be done, but uh, you may get to know the, the overall framework. Uh, you'll be given something, some paper like this, and uh, you are going to give that, 
and uh, a very brief procedures, very, very brief. Uh, both methylphalene and methyl orange indicator will be given. So you have to judge by yourself in different scenarios, which, okay, which one you are going to, which one is a more suitable indicator. And uh, 10 time dilution, 10 time dilution, and then extract one tenth to do the experiment. And what you need to do is to titrate against the diluted um, window cleanser against HDL. I use this one as an example. And we need to give me observation results. Of course, you can do more trial uh, as long as you can give me consistent results. And after recording your molarity on the site, you are going to get yourself prepared about the lab reports. Okay, now lab skills, as said before, now you are, I would like to, during the whole process, you are going to uh, get to know the, the, use, the use of the skills of managing uh, the pipette, pipette filler, um, dilution, and also doing the titration of even filling the solution uh, into the burette. All those skills uh, will be carefully monitored. Okay, this is uh, what I would like to check with you about lab skills. My practice is easy, is to swap your mistakes as many as possible and I will deduct your marks. Okay, can you get my point? Every, everybody can have full marks and I would like to spot your mistakes and deduct the marks. Fair enough, right? Uh, especially while you have uh, not too many people here, but I can easily do that action. Uh, can you get a point? Second, it's about your lab report. It is a long report. Have you ever tried out the long report? Have you done that? Long report, detailed report. So it is a long report. So long report and short report, do you know the difference between long report and short report? Do you know it? Mainly something is uh, missing, right? It's a procedure. It's a procedure. While a second is about the theory, whether or not the theory can be as detailed as possible or not. Now you may see the objective, the objective, you may just copy. What does it mean about objective or purpose of experiment to blah, 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 okay? And the theory, you talk about the theory behind the asset base titration, right? And the use of indicator. Can you get a point? Okay, the asset base, uh, asset base titration. And uh, the use of the choice of indicator in different scenario. Chemical apparatus, you may just copy. Precautions, or uh, besides having those listed, you may think of more. About procedure, I would like to address what is happening about procedures. Uh, for the formal science lab report, we need past tense passive voice. What does it mean by past tense passive voice? For example, do you know? Do you know? What's that? You know it? So for example, so no, no, who said no. Now for example, take a look. Number five, fill the blue wedge with hydroxide. So I change it. I change it to the hydro, uh, so the blue was filled with hydroxide. That is past, past tense specific voice. Okay, can you get my point? Accurate titrations were carried out two times. The results were recorded. This is something about the past tense and passive voice. Okay, and now what's next is to our uh, to have a results results including observations calculations. That you and uh, while those uh, note taking about would help you answer that. Discussion. Discussion is not oral discussion. 
but the but the detailed analysis, okay, evaluation, etc., to be included in this part. While well, for the discussion, it is a very important part in science lab report because it is it shows you your thoughts. It shows you how you get approach to the problem. It shows you how you analyze or uh, if your uh, experiments have any errors. To scientists, we all accept their errors. So, uh, but uh, whether or not we can minimize the error, this is our work to do, which will make a difference between more scientific person and less scientific. Can you get a point? And uh, for those um, error, just like random error, how we solve that random error is easy, right? Do you know what's that? What's the random error? How we solve the random error? Random error cannot be solved, but I can minimize. How? Get more sampling, right? How will you get more sampling? And you would reduce the, uh, the, the occurrence of, uh, yes, that's right. So more sampling. I just give you one, one example, right? And uh, once you get the error, you need to give me the corresponding suggestions for further improvement. Finally, further questions. It's not, made, it's not raised by you. It's to be answered by you. Okay, you get my point. So the further questions, how would you get that? How you get the further questions? The further questions can be found uh, at the back. Here, here. Take a look. Try to see if you find it so familiar to you. For each of the foreign practices, carry out the experiment. Explain whether it will lead to inaccurate titration results. If so, such as how the accuracy of titration data enhance the determination of, of, of molarity of ammonia in a commercial window cleanser is affected. Have you been trained about how to answer that type of questions before? Or do you still remember? You have been trained. Yeah, that's right. Somebody has been, has raised it. Is it uh, you find it very um, so frequently in your request last year? So take a look on that. Ah, uh, rinsing the pipette with this water only, rinsing the conical flask with this water only, and rinsing conical flask not only with this water but also the diluted window cleanser, rinsing the water metric flask with window, uh, this water followed by window cleanser, rinsing the barrette with this water only. Carry out the titration with the filter funnel remaining on the top of the barrette after using it to fill the barrette. Take a look. Uh, filled with the solution. Uh, you will find that the tip of the barrette uh, was, uh, is trapped with some air bubbles. And uh, while you take the barrette reading, uh, those air bubbles uh, has been flushed away during the titration. Carry out the titration without rinsing the inner surface of the conical flask with the distilled water when approaching endpoint. Position of diluted window cleanser HCL in the setup are interchanged. Using lemma shape solution as indicator, using the reverse indicator as a indicator, and using mifa orange as indicator. Wow, so many scenarios. Share the link, you just go to the Google Classroom. I've just uploaded the relevant file link such that you know where you can get it. Already uploaded. So for not see you, you you better go there, go to the go to the document and uh, click that. Okay. Questions. So for those for those uh, questions, there may be you may have that answer in mind, right? But uh, on the site, I will only choose two further questions here. Okay, so I randomly pick that two, any two, and you have to answer uh, in written. Can you get my point?
You get it? Okay. So uh, main, quite a number of questions appeared before. So I'm sure you can manage. All right. So last but not least, I would like to show you, uh, oh, this one is, I would like to show you another one. So you may just take a glimpse of a word. It seems like this. Easy that. So you'll be given the um, school single line paper, right? I will. I will give you something like this, the lab performance, your report performance, and the overall marks. And then uh, something like this with a cover page. First of all, it's our proper format, okay? You will be give, give, given a, uh, you need to have a cover page for that. Uh, and you will be given a second paper and probably to your, something like this, okay? You're going to give me title, experiment date of experiment, objective theory behind, something like that. Okay, chemical apparatus, and uh, uh, for this guy, he, he did not uh, give him the um, pH titration curve, right? He didn't give me anything, but I expect you guys to show uh, it, but with the help of the pH, pH titration curve to relate why is it so more suitable to use phenolphthalein instead of other indicator. Now, safety precautions, procedures, so you, so you see that? But for, for the, this was should be reason you have to skip it. So you have to go to a change, should be, should be. Uh, can you see that was where was where it, it, it will be more pop up. Can you see what is that about uh past time passive voice? And later on results, okay, results table with that. I need to check uh the two DP, right? It taking take it, it, it as average volume uh of tie and then do the calculations, remember the sec fact and uh, the errors, solution, can you see that? They are corresponding to each other. Errors, solution, errors, solution, errors, solution, errors, solution. And the further, further questions, question one, can you see that? I just randomly picked those questions and you have to answer that. The question two, randomly picked and you are going to answer. And uh, here comes the end. Oh, you have got three, sorry. Last year, I've just picked that three and uh, you need to answer and uh, if uh, last year i also give you the uh the, you're seeing some bonus questions okay so something nasty and uh, we have got some other right i just show you the first one questions do you know what you have to do while you are having are uh, they type the, the your sba okay you get a point I do hope uh, for those documents, right? You would have a uh, easier way to think how to manage and how you can uh, write down a good lab report. Questions? Oh, the time now is already 10.30. Questions? Have you all get a reservation of the pre-lab session? For those who still haven't, it's time to fill in those missing parts, okay? Wow seat slots. First come, first first. Questions? You feel better? For those who, who think that you, you make yourself very, very clear about the procedure, uh, the what will be assessed, uh, you have to put a tick here. Let me know that you understand what is that. If not, across. You understand what is happening. Yeah. Most of you get to know. You know what is that about, okay? Remember, it's not just written work to be assessed, but also your lab skills. So it's time to recall your memory and try to carry that out in practice while we meet at chemistry lab next week.
Okay. Any more questions? Remind will to reserve your seat before you come. No more questions? Okay. Enjoy your weekend. See you. Bye.